Ah, yes, everyone agreed. McFarlane wasn't making anywhere near enough Batman lines. Yeah, McFarlane's doing another Batman line, but this is actually kind of interesting. So, this is a 6-inch scale line. The Adam West line's 5-inch, and the Multiverse is 7-inch. This is a 6-inch line based almost entirely on Batman the Animated Series. Now, I got the entire first wave. I have Batman and Alfred here. Now, they do have a Build-A-Figure here. It's going to be the Condiment King, which... That's a good Build-A-Figure, to be honest. And you can see Wave 1 was made up of Batman, Robin, Mr. Freeze, and Scarecrow. Alfred was just a Target exclusive release. No Build-A-Figure piece, but he gets more accessories and it's $10 cheaper. That's another thing about the price point here, right? $20, $30. That's steep. Let's see, uh, let's see if he can live up to it. Today I'm going to look at Alfred first because, to be honest, I need people to stick around in this video. <laughs> um... I didn't know what to expect from Alfred. I mean, we don't get many Alfred figures. The only ones I can think of is we got one for Hush, and then we got an amazing one from Mattel. Alfred, however, just isn't that toyetic a figure. I mean, just an old butler, right? Of course, I love Alfred. He's one of my favorite DC characters ever, but I can understand why toy companies wouldn't necessarily be chopping at the bit to get him on the toy shelves, you know? That said, this Alfred's actually pretty impressive, all things considered. A big thing to point out is this figure is very well sculpted. Now, there's not a lot of paint on the go, but they do capture the design well. And in terms of articulation, you have a good ball joint at the head, universal at the shoulder, you have a decently, oop, decent elbow, somewhat stiff, but still works, universal at the wrist, you have, oop, let me strand that up, and rotation at the waist, DC Universe Classics hips. Which isn't that something, check that out. And then you have one good solid knee and a ball joint at the foot. Nothing remarkable in terms of articulation, but definitely workable. It's just, as much as I like this, is it a $20 figure? Well, at least part of that comes down to accessories. So we have a good uh, feather duster, have a very large platter that he can carry in. You have a teapot a plate, and a small cup or bowl that you can put on top of the plate, like so. You have what I assume would be a sugar dish, and then probably like a little pitcher of milk to go with coffee or whatever they're serving. And then you have two open kind of grabbing hands, be good for a little hug for Batman, and then two closed fists. Definitely a good suite of accessories, but 20 bucks for a figure that's an inch shorter than multiverse figures with less articulation. I don't know, man. It feels off. So how do you think it's going to feel when I open his $30 boss? Now, I keep saying that, that it's $30. Online, I've seen it for $20, and yet in store, on the pegs, it was going for $30. I don't know what his price is supposed to be. If it was $20, I'd feel a lot more comfortable, but it might be $30, and if that's so... This figure is going to need to do a good bit. Batman feels weird. I mean, there's some good here. The paint is solid enough and the build quality, but just look at this. They try to put cell shading on him. It just looks like he poured coffee on his cheek. And then the cowl isn't glued down to the torso. The cape is very weird. That's just like, I don't know what that would be. Like almost like a, like a vinyl, uh, somewhat kind of cheap feeling. You have a universal at the shoulder and a good elbow universal at the wrist a deep ab crunch that is very stiff but does work Ugh. got a waist rotation a universal at the hip again very stiff double jointed elbow knee also very stiff boot rotation up and down and a rocker that's good it's just why the cell shading look at this it just looks like he's like sweating underneath his armpits it's gross looking. Like, some of it's nice. Like, I like the blue up here on the cowl. But, like, Batman wasn't cell shaded like this in the show. I'm sure you could probably find, like, a single screenshot or something. But, like, that wasn't standard for them to shade his skin. I don't know. Maybe the accessories can help save it. Okay, I'll say it. The accessories and a good pose help a lot. So, here's my favorite accessory. They gave you a hand that has the back grapple. Great for action poses. Also, a bunch of other hands. So, 
couple of closed fists. That's good. Need those for a Batman. You have a couple of kind of more open, grabby hands. So this one's very open. That one's just to hold the back grapple. That they did a separately packed one. You also do these two, kind of more closed, but still grabbing. And that's for the Batarang they included. So, oop. Oh. Well. Mmm. Tight getting in there. Nearly as soon as I start saying I like this figure, <laughs> it, uh... Oh, it comes back and bites me in the ass. Of course it does. How does he hold it? There, he has to hold it between the fingers. It's fine. I don't like how the Batarang looks. Also, I feel like I really need to show this. So, he's crunched now. I want to put him back up straight. Look at that. It's pulling itself out. Oh, this figure's going to break one day. Also, like, the accessories I got were nice, sure. But, like, you know what would have been better than all these extra hands? How about an unmasked head, hmm? That'd be kind of cool. Or a battle-damaged head, maybe, even? I don't know. Just something. We have so many Batman. McFarlane's already done a couple of Batman in this style, in the multiverse line. This is better than any of them. Hell, no, it's probably better than DC Collectibles one, if I'm being honest. But 30 bucks. Hmm. It's funny. Despite all the quibbles, getting a Batman and an Alfred that goes so well together still kind of melts my heart. Hmm. Yeah, these figures were 20 bucks, yeah? Batman's worth it. Alfred's worth it if you love Alfred, and I think he's worth it, but I wouldn't say in general he's worth it. I really hope it turns out that my store was wrong, and these guys actually are 20 bucks. Because because for 20 bucks, this is a very good Batman. Not for 30 though. The style is solid enough. Once you get used to the cell shading, get them in a good pose, it works. And they do look really good together. In all honesty, I kind of hope that when they do the next wave of this, if they do a next wave, they take another stab at Batman. Because the body here is fine. It really is just the paint letting him down. But I still like him with that Alfred. 